Hey, this is Sean again. In this video, we're going to look at asteroid mining. One way to get dilithium is to mine it. And the place to mine it is the Vlugta Dilithium Mines. So what you need to do is you need to go to your um, mission journal, available, and scroll down until you find the one that says Asteroid Mining and accept that mission. Once you do, it'll go into your in progress under events. So you gain experience points and expertise, but you also get dilithium. That's what you're all after. There are easier ways to get it, but this is something you will find that comes up in endeavors and um, also maybe parts of missions I can't remember. So what you need to do, go to the uh, asteroid field near Bajor, which is near uh, Deep Space Nine. And go down. Now your suit should automatically equip if it doesn't, you're in all sorts of trouble when you go outside, um, but it, it pretty much does nowadays. You've got to make sure that you've picked the mission up, otherwise you won't be able to mine. You'll just wander around the asteroid thinking to yourself, how do I do this? Where are all the crystals to mine? So, pick the mission up. Exit the airlock, top right. When we go outside, our suit comes on, so if yours doesn't automatically come on, you probably uh, have done something wrong, because in the old days we had to activate it, now we don't. On your map, you've got to get five lots of dilithium, and they're all in the yellow circles. If you did not pick a mission up and you just came here to mine, you can't do it. Uh, there was something um, ages ago where you could get a mining claim and that allowed you to come here and like get loads and loads of dilithium. It was brilliant. Um, I had loads of them, but I think they've stopped it now because my stockpile disappeared from my inventory, but that's okay. So, let's go uh, hunt some crystals. So you bounce around. Go up to these crystals and mine it, and you'll get your little mini game. So it's not very exciting, but if you need some dilithium, or you want to do it just for the thrill of it, here it is in the video just for you. Oh, and you at the back with the hat on. Yes, you, you wanted it too. It's also a good way to practice these mini games. As I've said in other videos, I have now preferred preferring to use the keyboard arrow keys instead of trying to do it with the mouse. It's much quicker. And you have to match the triangles up. Circles on circles. It's that easy. Sounds easy, it can be frustrating. Especially if you've had a couple. You know what I'm saying. But it's quite satisfying. And if you're a lower level, it's one of those things that allows you to gain XP, the all-important XP for leveling up. Boing! Off we go. Whee! Ooh! Up to another bit. Not that bit. Yeah, this one's going to be up the top. Now, notice you can't get up. So what you have is these little posts. Now, there should be one up there you can click on. But I can't see it. So we may have to go at it from another angle. Because when you can see that post, you can actually fly up to it. We've done that on a mission before. 
The one where we had to go out of the airlock, I think that was on Deep Space Nine as well. This one is proven a little bit harder to get to, but we can get there. So there is no navigation beacon up here. Remember the old days when I first started, I didn't know how to do any of this at all. There was no guides. There's really no manual of how to do stuff with the game either. You just had to work it out. I think it was more fun, but very, very frustrating. So we need to go down here. If I can get a navigation point and click on it, it should automatically go over there. Should. Not that we want to go over there, of course. Just showing you, you know, as you do. So I think these points um, are beyond this rock tunnel here. Quite frankly, it's quicker to walk. The map can be a bit jittery at times, but I could see where it was. One to go. It's another uh, wash 
rinse, repeat kind of a job. But it's okay, I find it quite relaxing just bouncing around an asteroid. So there you go, we've gained oh, two and a half, three thousand, maybe three and a half thousand uh, dilithium. I already have two million, can't refine any more. Because um, you have a, a limit of eight thousand a day and ten million in the bank. I'll never get that, I keep spending it. Uh, if you get a lifetime subscription, you get more. I will deal with that. Uh, in another video when I talk about benefits of lifetime subscriptions. So that was uh, Asteroid Mining. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with another video very soon.